Get ready, Baku crew, for another epic, brand new Bakugan unboxing. It's your host, BakuBrad96, here again with another one. This time, I'm going to be looking at the brand new Baku 10. This thing is really interesting, just into the fact that the top can be used as a field or an arena, at least for limited gameplay. And this is huge because in my last few reviews, I haven't really been able to demonstrate that special attack gimmick Spin Master is promoting in this toy line. And that's what I want to do. And hopefully now I will have that ability. But aside from that, this Baku 10 comes with plenty of storage that any brand new brawler needs to hold their collection. Along with a really neat, I'm assuming exclusive, special attack manded that is pyrus colored um but it is still of course the insect clan um really cool i can't wait to unbox it but before i do please don't forget to subscribe to the channel to help keep things going it definitely helps it not only makes my day but it keeps things like my monthly giveaways possible for the community and a large majority of my viewers aren't subscribed so come on guys subscribe for bakugan why not but with that said, I do want to go ahead and get right into it because I know my talking can be tedious and boring. I did take out the uh, shrink wrap before the video. That way I could make things faster, but really cool. You have this little uh, cardboard paper sheet. Um, again, you get to see the artwork of Manted, but the content, so everything included. Do want to let everyone know that right quick. You get one top of a Bakugan, two of the little um, gear discs or the uh, special attack discs, the bottom half of the Bakugan, one character card, one gear piece, and then two map cards or gate cards with the rip cord. So pretty good amount of contents. Really interesting to say the least. So here is the top. Of course, you can invert it and there's the addition for two gate cards. So not the stereotypical four that you would assume, but you do get two gate cards there. So either way, that is something I will take it. You do get an edge rimmed so you don't start directly on the gate card. That's fair enough gameplay for me. Like if both players start right here with the arrows, I'll take it. Um, that's a game. So perfect. That is already a promising sign, at least for me. Now if I can... Uh, get this thing open without any damage there we go um, looks like you do get two little uh, holders shaking shaking there we go okay so you do get two little holders that's pretty cool um, holds up to six Bakugan and then your cards rip cord you have two little sections so you can hold either more Bakugan or just other accessories for the game like your special attack pieces and what have you. Um, this isn't really new or interesting. You know, this is put in pretty much all of uh, Spin Master's Bakugan tins. They're perfectly fine for storage, but, you know, it is what it is. And then before I get into that, let's go ahead and take a look at the actual artwork of the tin. Because I do appreciate... The, uh, the amount of detail Spin Master has put in their last few tins. I didn't unbox it on the channel, but I did pick up the Bakugan Legends tin. Um, unfortunately, I did only get another Vilox, so nothing huge, which is why I didn't really make a video on it. Uh, but the tin, the way it had all the characters around it, was pretty nice. So here we can see that there are Nilius right there. And then we have Hammerhead, which Hammerhead is really cool. I want that Bakugan. Hammerhead and Butterclaw are two of the ones I want the most. There is Bruiser, followed by Manded. And then we have Dragonoid, Trox, and then Ventry. So pretty cool. You have kind of all of the main base characters there. So that is really neat. Um, just really like how they're, uh, other than making it just a flat surface, they're putting some detail on the tins. Wow, that was uh, a lot tighter than I thought it would be. So here is the uh, rip cord for the special attack Bakugan. Which, by the way, already have uh, 
quite the assortment of uh, rip cords. Which uh, one of my uh, Beyblade fans in the comments gotta let me know what? Wh how do you guys store all of these? Because I have no idea what I'm gonna do with all of these, honestly. And then here is the manded, and everything else fell out. Didn't know how I uh, how I saw that going. But here are the special attack discs. Of course, we have tape and plastic. Tape and plastic. Yeet that away. Um, this is one that I have seen uh, before. I have reviewed it on the channel before. It is the uh, axe and hammer. And then this. This, however, is a new one. Not sure what this one is called, but we will get into the uh, cards momentarily. And by momentarily, I mean right now. As soon as I get some scissors and go off camera. Here we go. Some of that Hollywood magic, but, you know, low budget, so... I talk through it instead of just, you know, black screening or skipping to it. Got to keep things interesting. But for anyone interested, here is that Roblox code. Just uh, let me know in the comments down below if you did claim it. Uh, that way anyone else who wants it knows it is already claimed. Just to be a fair and positive community, please. And then here is the gear included. So we have flare axe and smash hammers. So this is the one um, that I have reviewed before. I forget what this one came with. I want to say it came with special attack bruiser. Um, but I could be completely wrong. Um, it does have a stat of 2, 2, and then 100. So it, it isn't different either. It's the exact same flare axe and smash hammers. So no difference. And then for Manded, here's the special attack Manded. Um, we do have some symbol terminology here. Looks like on some kind of green symbol. Um, the same green symbol I saw on my Diamond Trox character card. Um, you have some sort of reroll or reversal effect. Again, I don't know the terminology for the new game, but I can't wait to learn it and let you guys know all of the details as soon as I do. But for the stats, 500, 100, and then 400, Manded pretty good on the uh, on red. So it does look like, and I have said it in my previous video, 500 seems to be kind of the top margin for Bakugan, at least in Wave 1. Again, just to give a quick little summary here, there is the Special Attack Green, Insect Manded, Dragonoid. There's the Bruiser, again, topping off at 5. Nelius only hits four. The regular Bruiser only hits four. And there's the same Flare Axe. So yeah, apparently 500 is the cap, which I'm not complaining about. Again, Power Creep being reset is nice. And, uh, you know, it just balances out the game. It makes the game fresh. You don't have to worry about older players being overpowered already um, without really having to play the game or buy the game. But moving on into the gate cards or the map gates, we have a dragon map and this is the B side. Um, so unfortunately it is one that I already have. There it is actually. And that is unfortunate because I would like to get all of them like I have the A and B of the mammal map and that is really cool. Um, so two Bs of the dragon now and then I do have the D and then I have one of the insect. And then the other um, gate card included is of the Insect Clan. And I don't know if it'll come up on camera, but it is the D. So I have the A and D of Insect now. So they would go like that right there. Very interesting how the map uh, cards or the gate cards combine now to make a full area or a play field. That is really cool. I definitely like that aspect of the game. I said it in my last video and I will continue to do so because it is really cool. So the only other thing included is a little booklet. But unfortunately it's a booklet that doesn't have any relevant information. There's no game rules. It says collect them all. You have the clan symbols, which that is pretty cool. So... If I'm not mistaken, we have the Avian Clan, Aquatic, Dragon, Misfit, Insect, 
dinosaur, I think, and then mammal. So I think that's dinosaur, but I don't know about that one. But the other ones, I'm almost 99.9% .9 sure that is the correct terminology. And then we have Neelius and Dragonoid as just cover art. So pretty cool, but again, not really relevant. It's just a little promotional pamphlet. Back to the Bakugan. Go ahead and review Mandid. So the ring I will put on is this really cool red one because up until now, all of these special attack discs that I have have all been the same yellow color. And at least this one is like a really cool orange color. So I really like that. There it is. It looks really cool too. It almost looks like Ventry. Like there's the feathers and then there's the wings. Now that I kind of pointed it out, that looks really uh, bird-like almost. But really interesting. So I will grab a gate card and we will pop. Well, I thought we were going to pop. Maginoid open. That didn't work out too uh, too well, did it? Hopefully that doesn't uh, mean something is wrong. So I have closed and reviewed Maginoid before on the channel. For those of you who don't know, you just fold the top portion over the bottom. And you fold these in. And let's try again. Okay, there we go. So probably just stuck from uh, being, you know, Manufacture then just put in a in the packaging, but there we go fold that back over close the bottom and There we have special attack manded So really cool. So it does work pretty good But taking a look at the detail here It is pretty much the same as the green one same little manual arm pieces and the detailed face is very nice. Even in Pyrus, they did the same eye work with the uh, antenna and the glaring eyes. Here's the bottom. It is the same bottom, little fold-out pieces of the same special attack man did before. Fold those back in. The only difference, of course, is the Pyrus coloring as opposed to the Ventus coloring and the disc it came with. But very, very nice. Again, very nice paintwork too for a Wave 1 product. Um, interesting enough that the Baku tins are a Wave 1 product. Normally, Spin Master has left those to like Wave 2, Wave 3 later on in the year of release. But hey, they're switching it up and nothing is wrong with that. I don't mind at all. I do mind trying to close this Bakugan and failing. But there we go. So... How about I try out that tin and see just how well it works to see if I could really uh, showcase some gameplay because that's what I'm hoping for. If this does work, I could get gameplay going. So to get it ready, pretty much all you do is invert the, uh, the lid, insert your gate cards, which I'll just use the two insect ones and they insert completely into a little groove so it perfectly fits. Now then, we'll put the rip cord in the Bakugan like so. Pretty self-explanatory. Um, it does fit both directions, kind of multi-directional. That way you don't have to worry about breaking the Bakugan. But you just put it in, kind of give it a little rip, and here we go. And there we go. So. The arena is much more controlled. It worked a lot better. Of course, the rim kept the Bakugan in place. And honestly, this works out great. Going forward, I will be able to review the brand new game so much better than I have been in my previous videos. Brawlers, I apologize. If I had known this, I would have opened the tin first. Like... That thing would have been unboxed. It would have been the first product unboxed on the channel. Don't get me wrong. But at least now I know. So now I can actually give a proper demonstration of the special attack Bakugan. So to wrap out this video, I know it's going to be a little longer. I apologize about that. But to be fair, how about we take a look at all of the prior special attack Bakugan and see how well they spin out. So starting off with the Ventus colored. Special attack manded. 
very nice good spin like the the technical the engineering side of this idea is working flawlessly and there we go so a little off camera but as you could all see once that magnet hits and the Bakugan slows down just a bit it hits the magnet perfectly you land in a zone whatever zone you land in correlates what stat you use so perfect really nice really love seeing that in action but we took a look at both mandates now it's time for special attack bruiser very nice just listen to that rip like it's almost exactly like beyblade in the amount of power that they can put out but very nice and did not open so it looks like not all of them uh open like they should um i guess you can miss a uh, a spin uh, i guess it's not really called a roll when you miss this one but uh maybe the uh bakugan this generation will have a respin instead of a re-roll have to find out, but uh, so far Bruiser's the only one that uh, didn't hit the uh, gate card. So last but certainly not least is Special Attack Dragonoid, which I guess that's a good way to end out the video. And here we go. I feel I, I can't help but saying like one two three, let it rip, right? But like it's like one two three, let it brawl, let it rip brawl. I'm just so conflicted with the gimmick of how to say it, but I'm just gonna show it off either way. Here we go. See, they fit nicely. They go directly onto the card. They do go around the edge a little bit, but the indention, you know, it just works. But it doesn't work enough for the Dragonoid to stand. So, that's a shame. I don't want to wrap the video up with that. Like, we got to do better, right? So, Dragonoid, come on. Oh, well, that was a fail. That was an epic fail. So, we're going to go ahead and fold this Dragonoid up. The the one thing about these Special Attack Bakugan, I guess I should have brought that up sooner. The Magnet's not necessarily on the bottom of the Bakugan anymore, as it's kind of on the edge. So, as you could all see, as I placed it, you have to be careful because you could cheat without cheating. Um, if you place the, the Magnet too close to the card, it'll just open, and that's not really fair. So probably best to place the Bakugan magnet away uh, when you're first setting the Bakugan down, especially if you're going to be using the tin, because, you know, a game's a game, and it's not fun if it's not fair. So here we go one more time, testing out the Dragonoid. That's more like it. So hopefully I won't miss this time. I mean, I know I miss rolling, but that's definitely more technical. This is all about luck, right? Really? Okay. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to have to learn how to spin a Bakugan now. Um, that's going to be interesting, but regardless, thank you all for watching. I definitely can't wait to play this game more and test it out in future videos. So don't forget to ring that notification bell if you want to, to stay up to date, because there's definitely more to come. Until next time, stay safe, drum up, and Bakugan Brawl!